hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel so in this video we're going to learn how to join this windows 10 client virtual machine to our active directory to our domain okay so this is our dns server the active directory we're going to use the active directory to manage this computer here so we need to join this computer to the active directory and remember our dns name actually go to tools the dns name actually here is uh, domain name gtech.test okay so we want to join this computer to the domain so how do we do that the first requirement is to ensure that these two computers can communicate so to ensure that open partial Also on this side, open PowerShell and uh, IP config all. Same on this side, IP config all. Yeah, so you see the PRDS here is 88.109, but on this side, it's 88. Dot 128. So let's try to ping ping 102.168.88.129. Okay, so it's not pinging from the server side. Let's try to ping ping 192.168.88.129. Yeah, so you can see we're able to ping from the client machine to the server, but not the server to client. That's because the Windows Defender firewall are blocking any outbound ICMP. But what you want is just to communicate from the client to the server, right? Okay, so that's enough. But if you want to actually uh, enable server to ping the client, it's very simple. Just go to uh, your Windows firewall. Uh, just click on the Windows Defenders with the advanced security. Okay. And then click on inbound rules. And we want to add ICMP. Just click add new rule. Okay. Add new rule. Meanwhile, let's go to the server and just ping a continuous ping. Uh, sorry continuous ping yes so it will be timeout 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 but when we had that inbound rule uh, make it a program all programs click on all programs next allow the connection that's okay profile domain and the name ICMP. Yeah, so you see, we had ICMP. We added, we added all programs actually in this case. So we are able to communicate from the server to the client. So that's just enough. That's just enough. All right, that's just enough. So what we want to do is to ensure that the second thing, the first thing was to ensure that there's communication between the server and the client, right? So the second thing is to ensure that the client DNS name is the PRDS of the server. So when you see here, the DNS name of the client, you see, is still 88.2. So let's change that uh, setting. So go to network settings. Uh, Ethernet, change adapter, adapter options, Ethernet 0, properties, and then IPv4, and uh, static, 192.168.88, it was 129. There's a P address, then the default gateway is 88.2.2. .2. 
and also um, the DNS name as we say the DNS name should be the IP address of the server okay very important you have to ensure that the, the DNS name of the client before you join it to the domain is the IP address of the server okay all right so one two one sixty eight uh, 168.88.128 the alternate DNS can be maybe 8888 8, 8, 8. good save right so that's 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 a done deal that's very important so what we've basically done is to ensure that this computer can communicate with the server and also the DNS name of this computer is the appearance of the server so that we can join it to the domain. The two requirements are very important. Okay. Okay. So let's join this computer to the domain. How do we join this, this computer to the domain? Just go to your uh, file explorer, come to this PC, then right click somewhere there, then go to properties. Then you see here computer name, domain, and work group. Click there and give it a name. Maybe you can give it a name like uh, test GTEC 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 computer. Okay, apply there. Then our main concern is here to rename this computer or change its domain or work group. Click change here. So like we said, uh, the computer name will be GTEC, okay? Then the domain name is GTEC.test, very important. GTEC, GTEC, GTEC.test, and join it to the domain. So, you see, it's trying to uh, search whether domain exists, and it found it. It founds it because the DNS name of this computer resolves to that domain name, which is gtg.com. So we are being required here to enter username and password of the admin users. Remember, in the previous video, we created admin. Um, in the uh, we created actually admin um, admin users. So you can choose to use. That mean the original admin, the root admin, or the admin user that you created. In this case, let me try to use the original admin there, the root admin that I created here, that you created here on the Windows server, okay? Or any admin user, okay? So, um, Okay, so let's see. You see, welcome to gtech.com. That basically means that this computer is already joined to our domain. So forget about that one, that's closed. And you see, it's actually been registered to our domain. So let's just see. Let's just go to computers, left hello explorer to this PC. Let's click, come to properties, and now let's com confirm. You see, the computer is already joined to test. And maybe if you can just uh, partial, then just say nslookup test. You see, it resolves to the IP address of the, the server, okay? All right. All right, so basically, I think I've shown you how to uh, join a computer to the domain. The first thing is ensure that the, the client can ping the server, okay? That's the only thing that you should, I mean, that's, that's the first thing that you should ensure. The second thing is to ensure that the client has the IP configuration with the DNS server equals to the IP address of the, the Windows server machine, okay? Because 
it's the Windows Server machine that's our DNS server. So the DNS server of this client machine should match the IP address of the Windows Server. Then you join it to the domain through the ways that we've seen. And now there you use the admin administrative account or credentials to join it to the domain, right? Okay, so guys, let's 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 meet in the next video. We are going to see how to uh, uh, log in to this computer using various uh, users that you created earlier. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next video. Bye. Thank you.